Hello, my name is Hope Schomburg. I'm one of the EdTech specialists here at Pine Bush School District. Um, so this video is going to be showing you how to log into School Tool as a parent and also how to view your students' grades and assignments from School Tool. So here we go. So starting off on the Pine Bush School's website, to access School Tool, you're going to go to the parent slash community section. And if you scroll down, there's going to be a sidebar here and school tool is listed as a link. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And this gives some information about the school tool parent portal. If you have not logged into it yet, you will need to register for it using a school tool registration form, which is actually right here on this page. So you'll fill this out and then along with your photo ID, you need to bring it to your child's school. So just to show you what it looks like, here it is. So you would fill out this information here. If you have more than one child in the district, then you're going to have to fill out one form per student. So you would just fill out this information here. And please make sure when you are filling it out that you put down an email address because this is how you will access school tool. And you will see that there's a space right here. So you would put your desired email address on here, and this is going to become your username to get into school tool later. So you would fill this out and then take it to your child's school. Again, if you have more than one child, you can actually drop them off all to one school if you would like. So once this paperwork is processed, you will get sent an email from school tool that is going to give you your temporary password to get in. So going back to the district website here, Right here is the school tool parent portal link. So it'll take you right to the login page. And to log in for the first time, your username will be your email. The password will be the temporary password that is sent to you from that email with school tool. Once you log in, you will need to change that password and I will go over how to change that. So just to go over that login information one more time, So when logging into your parent account, like I said, your username is your email and the password will be changed to what you want under the accounts tab. And I will show you how to do that. However, your student also has an account. They're able to access the same information that you are. So their username is PB lowercase followed by their ID number and their password will not change. It will always be this. So their password is the first three letters of their birth month only the first letter is capitalized, followed by their six digit birthday. So for example, if your child was born on November 3rd, 2008, it would be capital N, lowercase ov, 110308. So once you log into the parent portal, you're going to see a page that looks like this. There's going to be a list of your students down here if you would like to access that student's information, you would just click the blue name and then that will take you to the student page. However, you need to change your password once you get in for the first time. So to do that, you need to click the account tab right here and right on top, it will say change password. So you would put in that old temporary password that you were given and then you're going to change it to whatever you would like it to be and then type in that new password once more then hit change password, then you will all be set. Um, it is very important that you do this step because that temporary password is temporary and eventually you'll be locked out from your account if it's not changed. So once logged in, you see your student list and then you click their name that is in blue to go to their student page. On my screen, I scrolled down a little bit and I'm going to be blurring some pieces just to make sure no student information is showing. Um, on top of the screen, you're going to see some general information about your child, and this bar is going to be how you navigate the site. So the grades and the assignments tabs are what I'm going to be showing. So with the grades tab, this is where you will see posted grades for your child. And there is a drop down where you can view different types of grades, such as marking period grades, progress reports, and final averages. 
You can also select which quarter you are looking at. So the assignment tab will show individual grades for assignments. So let's take a look at the assignments tab. It will automatically be set to the current school year. And here you can adjust the current quarter. Now what's going to happen is it's actually going to show all of the course assignments for every class your student is taking all in one list. And it gets a little bit confusing. So in order to view one class at a time, you're going to hit this drop down where it says courses. And you can actually just select one class to see assignments just for that class. The number all the way to the right where it says score is the grade your child received. And then that can be compared to where it says max. That shows the total number of points the assignment is worth next to it. And that is pretty much it for how you navigate and log in. Of course, if you have any questions about how to navigate School Tool and any questions about what you might see on School Tool, I would reach out to your guidance department. I hope this helps. Take care.